I'm back. I'm back. Where'd you go? It's whack. They don't consult with me on the music here, by the way. Thank God. I wouldn't be picking out this stuff. I'll tell you that much right now. You know? Alright, so what are we doing here, man? What are we doing? What are we doing? We got about six minutes left. Honestly, don't know what to tell you. Uh, we are really looking like that 1040 level is like, whoa, we're right there. 1044.75, on the S&P. NASDAQ is just like looking putrid, putrid, putrid. It's over. The bull. Bye-bye. Now, again, I'm not a technician. I don't pretend to be one. Many, many people know much more than me about technical analysis. That is for sure. But what I'm told by Scott, the TA guru at TrendFund.com, uh, is that uh, 1040 is key level on the S&P. So uh, uh, we are... We are like, we're, it's got like a bullseye on it. They want to test that sucker so bad. So, uh, I don't think you can fight it here. I just think you got to kind of sit back. If you are in cash, it's a good place to be. You'll get an opportunity, I would think, pretty soon. If you like to trade from the long side. And a lot of my clients liked, will only trade from the long side. Some of the real good traders I have, they're like, I ain't trading from the short side. And, uh, you know, that's legitimate. I mean, I think that it's better if you can trade from both sides. But, you know, some people, they prefer just to trade from one side of the market, and that's okay. Uh, always, I find it harder to time shorts only because when we snap back, it tends to be uh, very violent. So, you know, you look at a stock like Apple. There's a lot of people today that were looking at Apple below 250 thinking, wow, you know, I want to buy it at 250 Now, right now, they're in the red and they're bleeding and they're very upset and probably crying. Don't cry, little donkeys. Don't cry. It's okay. You're still cute and cuddly. Um, but a lot of people, I'm sure... We're doing that because I just know how the market works for no other reason. And um, so they got their entry, and now they're in the red. And now is gut check time. Do those people want to stick it out and say, you know what? I want to hold. I'm holding Apple. I got my 250 entry. Maybe they got lucky. They got a little below. All right. So now is gut check time. Do they? Do you want to hold it and see if you're right and Apple's going to bounce, or are you going to like go? You know what? Let me take a step back here. Now I would be in the in the former in the latter camp, which was the step back camp, okay? Because I don't think that Apple is a buy if it's 200, okay? But I'm in the minority, so let's just kind of. Call it what it is. Okay, I'm in the minority. Everybody in creation loves Apple. Oh, Apple's going to five million. All right, I'm not in that camp. Just to be clear. All right, I don't think that Apple is worth two hundred forty-seven dollars. You can't convince me it is. Only that it's trading there right now. And only that I'm kicking myself that I didn't stay short it through this point all right it happens you never catch you never catch the bottom you never catch the top well once in a while but not too often you try to fall in between try to fall in between don't get too high don't get too low just go with the flow the flow all right so what are we looking at for the rest of the week look at that 1040 level it's going to be key i mean we you know, real flush out would take us down to, um, you know, the obvious place would be a thousand on the uh, 
on the S&P. That would be a real flush out. I don't know if we're quite ready to get there. I'm pretty sure we will get there. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind, I always tell clients, and this has been my experience in the market, the market trends to sell off a lot harder and a lot faster than it goes up. And we're seeing that, right? We, it shows no mercy. Selling begets selling. So it's important to keep that in mind uh, and remember that. Now, the good thing about this kind of market and why I want to kind of suggest people keep their power to dry is that when we do get a bounce or we do get intraday bounces like we had today, they can be wickedly profitable. Keep that in mind. Keep your trading, doing the right thing. I'm the trader. I speak as the trader speaks. Email me, waxy at trendfund.com. I'll answer any question. I usually get back to people within 24 hours. Tune in next week. We'll have more to say. Hey, man, I do the best I can. You should, too.